Hello and welcome back to Lorefan Gaming Plays Wasteland 3 Battle of Steel Town. I'm your host Lorefan. In this Wasteland 3 video guide, I'll show you all how to earn all in the family trophy slash achievement. That's when you listen to all of Archie's and Ethel's shows. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Do not forget to hit that notification bell so be updated and more. Now this is the map where it's at. Wonderful news. When you start Steel Town DLC and you are uh, enter the town. This is where you want to be at exactly. Just simply talk to Archie and Ethel onto the trophy slash achievement pop. So what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and start it. I'll return when it's over with. I'm watching the TV. Ah, the buddy capsule again. My favorite. Is it the one where some poor guy is murdered and everybody at the station thinks it's just a robbery gone wrong, but the buddy detectives think it's more uh, than that and nobody listens to them. Uh-huh. And then another guy gets killed. Everybody at the station thinks it's just another robbery gone wrong. Something doesn't smell right to the buddies, so they look for a connection. Yeah, but before they can make it, a guy from the DA's office tells their boss to make an arrest and move on. But the buddies refuse, and the boss takes them off the case. So they go to a bar with beautiful cocktail waitresses walking around. They drink whiskey and talk over the evidence, and they suddenly make the connection they missed before and realize they have to act now or a witness will die. So they jump in their car and make other cars crash as they race to the witness's house, just in time to find a masked man with gloves on about to kill him. And when they pull the guy's mask off, it's the mean guy from the DA's office. Turns out he's running for mayor, and he needs to win a big mob case. So he's making it look like the mobster is having a witness killed to silence them. And when they arrest him, their boss forgives them, and there's a freeze frame when they laugh. Hey, we're talking here. Oh, Jay, there's people in our living room again. Hey, it's the daytime drama now. Is this the one where Jason is mad at Marty for what she said about Raylene at Henry's party? That's the one. And then Jason goes to David's cafe to meet Lauren and tells her about it. And she says she knows why Margie said that, but she can't tell him because she promised Mr. Berkshire, the banker, that she would keep it a secret. Right. And meanwhile, Margie's at the yacht club uh, with her cousin Patrice and Patrice's mother Grace, telling her side of the story. But they're interrupted by Paul, the tennis pro, who says he knows the way Margie can get revenge on Jason. At the same time, across town, Jeff, Jason's gold chain-wearing cousin, is let out of jail and met by Jackie, his girlfriend, who takes a gun out of her purse and gives it to him as the credits roll. Oh, I can't wait to find out what happens next. Wait till the commercial. Hey, the comedy's on. Oh, I love that show. Is this the one where the husband buys his wife some fancy underwear for her anniversary, but he doesn't want her to find out, so he gives it to the neighbor boy to hide in his house, and his mother thinks it's for her? Yep, and she thinks it's from her husband, and thanks him. And he says, I didn't buy you any underwear. Who's buying you underwear? And they ask the boy, and he says, it was the neighbor man. <laughs> oh boy, do they get mad about that. So they bust in on the first couple at dinner, shaking the underwear box in their faces. And the poor husband, now his wife, is mad at him too. Why are you buying the neighbor lady fancy underwear, she says. And he says, I didn't and I can prove it. So he tells the neighbor and his wife to go home and try on the underwear. And he guarantees it won't fit. And so they do and they come back all shaved faced because it didn't fit at all. So, all's well, until that night when the wife tries on the underwear and it doesn't fit her either. The husband thinks he's in big trouble, but she hugs him and says, Silly, you never get the fit right. That's how I know you bought it for me. Go on. Oh, what a treat. The doctor shows on. Oh, you mean the one where the girl faints at her cheerleading practice, so they bring her to the doctor, and she tries to run away, but uh, faints again. That's the one! 
and they examine her and find out she's pregnant. And she's so ashamed and everybody thinks she's a hussy and her mother cries all the time and her father reads the newspaper in an angry way. Right, right, right. A and then the doctor, who who's the only one who listens to her, asks her what really happened. And she says she fell in love with a soldier and got married, so it's okay, she's not a hussy. But then he left for training and never came back. And the doctor says, wait, what's this young man's name? And she says, Joe Bly. And the doctor says, oh, I have a surprise for you. And it turns out that Joe didn't run away. He was hit by a car and has been in a coma in the hospital the whole time. Boy, <laughs> didn't we cry when the doctor took the girl into Joe's room and took his bandages off and he woke up out of his coma when she said his name? <laughs> Yeah, that was the best. Scram! Hey, it's the cowboy show again. After listening to all of Archie and Ethel's shows, you will earn the trophy slash achievement all in the family. Great news is this is very easy. After Benny's introduction, just go where I am at and you should easily earn this trophy slash achievement. Well, everyone, this is it for My Wasteland 3, Battle of Steel Town, How to Earn All in the Family Guide. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this. If you do like what you see, hit that subscribe button and check out my suggestions on the upper left hand corner or the bottom left hand corner YouTube suggestion. Have a wonderful day or night. Please stay safe.